and girls. We've missed being with you for the last couple of months. We're so happy to be back and to be able to share with you some more Sabbath School programs. I'm Miss Rhonda. Here's Roman, my grandson, who's going to be helping us today. He's dressed like little boy Jesus. Could you guess that? And our program this time is about happy boy Jesus. We want you to come and enjoy it with us. Now, if you tell your moms and dads, in the description below, there will be a link. And in that link, you can find all of the words to all the songs that we're singing with all of our props listed as well. So if you have your mom and dad, click on that link. It will take you to our church website and you can print this off for yourself. So you'll have all the words and you'll have all the props that you need so that you can do this program with us at home. It'll be so much more fun. I'm so happy you're here with us, and we're gonna get ready now to start our Sabbath School. Well, it's time for Sabbath School to begin, and if you listen carefully, you might hear the, the clock tick-tocking and telling it's time for Sabbath School. So let's get our sticks and let's make the clock sound together. Are you ready? Be quiet and listen to the clock. Be quiet and listen to the sounds of clock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's time to ring our Sabbath bells. Are you ready to ring your Sabbath bell with us this morning and welcome the Sabbath day? <laughs> doors of the church and see who has come. And each one of you has come to Sabbath school too, and I'm so glad you're here with us. Before we do anything else, boys and girls, we want to invite Jesus to come and be here with us, don't we? So when we pray, we bend our knees, Hold our hands, close our eyes, and bow our heads. Can you do that with us as we pray this morning? When it's time to pray, I bend my knees. for this wonderful Sabbath day. I thank you for all these boys and girls that they can come and join us in our Sabbath school. We invite you to be here with us, Jesus, and your angels too. Thank you, Jesus, for coming, and we love you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Amen. Every week, we study our Sabbath school lessons at home, don't we? And our Sabbath school lessons come from a very special book. Do you know what that book is? What is it, Roman? The Bible. It's the Bible. I have a real little Bible here. Roman has a pretend little Bible, and inside it has lots of pictures. This is God's word to us, and it is very, very special. So as we learn our lessons every week from the Bible, we should be thanking God for his word. It's his special word just for us. Shall we sing our Bible song, the B-I-B-L-E? Let's sing it together as you look at your little Bible. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the word for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. and girls let's have our memory verse time today's lesson is about 
Joseph. And this is such a good story. Joseph was so willing to forgive his brothers, wasn't he? And that's what our memory verse says. So let's say it, shall we? Forgive. Forgive and, and you will be forgiven. You said it before me. That was great. Luke 6, 37. Luke 6, 37. Great job, Roman. I hope the boys and girls do that good of a job, too. I'm so glad you're learning your memory verses, boys and girls. Put in here God's word in your little brain, and it's a really good thing for you to do. Let's clap our hands and sing, I'm glad I learned my memory verse. I'm glad I learned my memory verse. I'm glad I learned my memory verse. Because 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 I'm glad I learned my because the angel told them, it's time to go back to Nazareth. It's safe. And so Mary and Joseph got on their donkey and little boy Jesus, and away they went back to Nazareth. So we're going to take a donkey ride this morning. If you don't have a donkey at your house, maybe you could get mommy or daddy to get down on their hands and knees and give you a ride. I think that would be fun too. Are you ready, Roman? Okay, let's go for a ride. little babies. 
And if a baby was crying, I can just imagine little Jesus would grab that little baby and love it and hug it and tell it not to cry. So I'm going to get out my little baby and Roman's got a nice baby. Let's rock our babies and tell them not to cry, shall we? Joseph was a carpenter and he worked in his shop all day long building furniture I can imagine and anything that was needed that people wanted well I can imagine that little boy Jesus liked to help his daddy in the fur in the carpenter shop don't you think so let's help Joseph in the carpenter shop today by getting a hammer or a little saw Pretend ones, of course, and let's help in the carpenter shop, shall we? something to play with or something that they did where they had to take turns. So let's take turns this morning. Roman's going to write, then it'll be your turn, okay? I'll take turns with my tractor. I'll take turns with you. I'll take turns with my tractor. For Jesus wants me to. All right, are you done your ride? Now I'm sure that Jesus also had two of something and maybe somebody else didn't have any and he wanted them to be happy too so Jesus learned to share what he had with others maybe it wasn't a horse like Roman has but maybe it was even his food maybe two pieces of bread and he saw somebody who didn't have any and he was willing to share with them so let's pretend we're sharing this morning, shall we? I have two horses and a horse. good care of them, I'm sure. He loved to feed his animals. Would you like to feed a bone or a treat to your dog or cat while we sing our song? and he took such gentle care of them. Let's gently pet our kitty cats while we sing. Little Jesus liked to pet the kitty cats, the kitty cats, the kitty cats. Little Jesus liked to pet the kitty cats when he was a child. Do you hear the bird that's a beautiful sound, isn't it? 
I love to hear the birdies sing, and I'll bet Jesus did too. Shall we pretend we're birds today and sing along while we flap our wings and fly around like a birdie? Okay, let's do it. Little Jesus liked to hear the birdies sing, birdies sing. I can imagine that Jesus liked to sing too, don't you? I think so. When we sing, it somehow makes us happy, doesn't it? It lifts our spirits. So we're not only going to sing, we're going to play some instruments. So if you have some instruments, even if you have an oatmeal can that you can pound on, let's make some joyful noise to Jesus as we sing, shall we? Not only did little Jesus learn to sing, but I'm sure that little Jesus learned to pray too, didn't he? He loved to pray to his Father in heaven. And what do we do when we pray, Roman? How can we pray? We can kneel, we can bow our head, fold our hands, and close our eyes. Let's do that while we sing this time, shall we? Little Jesus, I am sure he loved going to the synagogue, which is what they called church back in those days, with his mom and dad on Sabbath mornings. And before he would go at his home, I'm sure he studied the scriptures. His mommy taught him from the scripture scrolls, just like your mommy and daddy teach you from the Bible. So Jesus would go every week as he would go to the synagogue, and he would see the priest there or the rabbis reading from the scrolls. And as he got older, he went to the temple in Jerusalem with his mom and dad. And he had learned the scripture scrolls so well that he was able to talk with the very learned men there in the temple. Let's take our little scrolls and let's sing this morning about Jesus in the temple. Too, but I love the Sabbath. The Sabbath is such a happy day, and I'm sure Jesus loved it too. Let's clap our hands this morning and sing Sabbath is a happy day, shall we? Sabbath is a happy day. Jesus' mom and dad thought that having Jesus in their home made their home very happy. Just like your mom and dad are so happy that you're in their family. Let's sing this morning about with Jesus in our family. We have such a happy home, right? Let's sing together. With Jesus in the family.
Well, boys and girls, Jesus made his home such a happy place to be in, and he was happy all the time. He was never pouting, was he? And do you know, he's happy even now, and he loves us so, so much. And I want to show my love for Jesus too, don't you? Let's bring our hearts this morning and give them to Jesus. Jesus loves me. to our Bible lesson. Let's get some wiggles out, shall we? Can you stand up tall with, with me and with Roman? And let's do some actions together. I can stand up tall like this, like this. So I can stand up tall for Jesus made me that way. Can you swing your arms? I can swing my arms like this, like this. So I can swing my arms for Jesus made me that way. Can you march? I can march around boys and girls, it's time for our lesson today. Now, last week's lesson, we had this picture. Can you tell me who that is, Roman? Jacob. Jacob. And what happened? Why was he on the ground sleeping? Did he have to leave his home? Yes. Yes. He had done something really wrong. He had told a big lie, hadn't he? And now he had to leave. And he went, and on his journey, he saw this beautiful ladder. And it was, it gave him so much courage and helped him to remember that God still loved him. It went, went to all, all the way to earth, all the way to heaven. And who was at the top? Jesus. Jesus was at the top. Did Jesus take care of, of Jacob? Yes. And Jacob went now to live with his uncle Laban. After a time, Jacob got married. Do you know how many boys Jesus gave to Jacob? Fifteen. Well, that's a good guess. But he had twelve. Twelve sons. Can you imagine that? That's a lot of boys. No. And one of those boys was named Joseph. Can you say that? Joseph. Yes. Joseph loved Jesus very much. Were Joseph's big brothers good boys, do you think? No. No, they were not. They did naughty things. And they made fun of Joseph because he wouldn't do the naughty things with him. They were mean to him. Let's turn our page and see our next picture. When Joseph grew a little bit older, Jacob made him a what? A scarf. Was it a scarf or was a it? A coat. A coat. He made him a beautiful coat. And that coat was made of many, many colors. And his brothers were so, so jealous. They thought, hmm, Joseph thinks he's better than we are. 
But Joseph didn't think that at all. Not at all. Joseph loved his brothers. Well, one time, Joseph had a dream. And in his dream, what did he see? Do you see this? This sheaf of grain? That was Joseph in his dream. And that, jo that um, sheaf of grain stood up nice and tall. But look at all the other sheaves of grain. They all bowed down to his sheaf of grain. And in another time, he had this dream where there were the stars, the sun, moon, and 11 stars that all bowed down to Joseph. Oh, Joseph's brothers and his fathers didn't like that. They said, we're never going to bow down to you, Joseph. We will never do that. Well, one day, Jacob called Joseph and he said, your brothers are taking care of our sheep. Please take them some food and see if they are safe. So Joseph was happy to do that. And he walked a long, long way before he found them. When they saw him coming, do you know what they said? Look, here comes Joseph, that dreamer. Let's get rid of him. Let's grab him and get rid of him. Oh, that was so terrible of them. They ripped his coat off of him, that beautiful coat that his father had made, and they put him in a deep hole. They were going to just leave him there to die. Would that have been fun? No. And was that kind of them? No, that was not kind of them at all. Well, let's turn our page and see what happened. Well, whoops, I went too far. About that time, a caravan came along and the caravan was going to Egypt. And so the brothers said, hey, let's sell Joseph to that caravan and they'll take him to Egypt. And we'll tell our father that Joseph died, a wild animal got him and that he died. So that's what they did. They went and they sold Joseph. After they pulled him out of the pit, they sold him to the people with the camels and they were going to far, far away Egypt. Poor Joseph, he cried and he cried. And so did Jacob when Jacob found out that he thought his son was dead and he cried too. They took Joseph all the way down to Egypt. But Joseph wasn't dead at all, even though Jacob thought he was and Jesus was watching over him every single minute. Well, when Joseph got to Egypt, he was bought by a man named Potiphar. And while he was there in Egypt, the king of Egypt had a strange dream. Jesus, Jesus told Joseph what the dream meant. And when the king learned the meeting, he made Joseph his most important helper. When people needed something, they had to bow down to Joseph and Joseph would help them and get them what they needed. How did that happen? Here he was, had been a slave, but now he was next to the king in importance in Egypt. That's pretty cool. When Jacob and his family needed food, Joseph's brothers went to Egypt to buy some. And you know what the brothers did? They bowed down low before Joseph. Do you remember the dream that Joseph had and his brothers? What did they say? I we will not never bow. We will down. never. But did they? Yes, they did. But did they know that was Joseph? No, they didn't know that was Joseph. He had grown a lot and many years had passed and he looked different. But Joseph knew who they were. The brothers bowed to Joseph. They didn't know him because he, his dress and his talk was not how it used to be. But Joseph knew them. 
and he was excited. He soon knew his brothers weren't as mean as they used to be. And we have one more picture. So let's turn it and let's see what the last one is. Well, finally, Joseph told his brothers who he was. And do you know how they felt? They were scared. They thought, oh no, we are sure that Joseph will be angry with us and punish us for what we did to him when he was young. But did Joseph want to hurt them? No, Joseph told them that he loved them and that he forgave them. Oh, how happy Jacob was that Joseph was still alive. And the whole family went to Egypt to live close to, to Joseph and that they could all be together again. Jesus was happy. Everyone was happy. And we are happy when we are kind and when we forgive each other, aren't we? Are you happy when you forgive somebody yeah. and you can become friends again? All right, well, why don't we have our memory verse and then we'll do our prayer. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Forgive and you, you will be forgiven. Oh, you wanna say it this way so everybody can see you? Now say it nice again. Um, forgive. Forgive and you, you will be forgiven. That was a lot better. Luke 6, 37. Luke 6, 37. Very good. I love this story about Joseph, don't you? Let's bow our heads and we'll have our prayer. We thank you, Jesus, that you teach us how to forgive. We thank you for Joseph who showed how to forgive. We want to be able to forgive too. Thank you, Jesus, for helping us to do that. And we love you so much. Be with us in the coming week. In Jesus' name, amen. We've had a wonderful time with you this week, boys and girls. And we're going to miss you until we see you again next Sabbath. So let's say goodbye to each other, shall we? Our Sabbath song.